In this video, I want to demonstrate conducting a structural equation modeling test. After I have my data in, I simply go to Analyze and then go to uh, SEM. And here I'm going to use the visual editor. And I'm going to have uh, three latent variables. I'll go ahead and have um, nine manifest variables. And I'll go ahead and draw those regression lines. Okay. I'm selecting the regression lines, and then I'm going to go ahead and just name some of these variables. So I'm going to call this one democracy 60. I'm going to call this one uh, industry 60, 1960. Okay. And this one I will call democracy 65. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and select the variables here. So I just click on the manifest variable and I'll select press 60. I'll select freedom 60. I'll select fairness 60. For the industry, I'll go ahead and select GDP 60. Consumption 60 and employment 60. For the variable I'm trying to predict, democracy 65, I'll go ahead and select uh, press 65, freedom 65, and fairness 65. And then I'll draw a few more regression lines. And that's it, our model's all set up, uh, looks pretty good. And just go ahead and update model and hit calculate. What we see here is an introduction about the set model that we're running. It preloads the assumptions of multivariate normality. You simply just scroll over to see whether it looks more normal or not. It looks at multivariate outliers with a conclusion there. Multicollinearity, the results, including the APA 7th edition table of the unstandardized loadings and significance levels, table two of the correlations among those latent variables, path diagram, evaluating the sample size, model fit, goodness of fit, other fit indices uh, inside of an APA table as well. Error variances, and then the interpretations of the uh, regressions. And that's it. That's how you conduct a structural equation model using intellect statistics.